Before you start, make sure you smash the subscribe button, click the bell icon to be notified for every video. We upload two times a day. Namaste! Hello everyone! I'm so happy to be today with you to share another all-natural, uh, very simple recipe. This recipe that I'm going to share with you today is especially very, very good um, for oily skin, um, if you have acne and if you're prone to blackheads and um, all kind of these type of conditions on your skin. Um, of course, the number one thing that first we have to do when we have such a skin condition um, is to pay attention at our diet because most of the times we have a certain skin condition um, because of how we eat and what uh, diet we follow. The healthier we eat, the more raw fruits and vegetables we incorporate in our diet, uh, the better our skin becomes with time. And uh, that's a very important thing. But um, I'm not going to talk about it today. Um, there's some extra things you can do externally for your skin. And this recipe I'm going to share with you today is um, very, very simple. All you need for this recipe is very good um, pure uh, water. When I say pure water, I mean low mineralization water. So the water that I'm using today is um, a reverse osmosis water and it has very little amount of uh, minerals in it, uh, we have measured it. But you can use um, any good uh, table type of water or if you find reverse osmosis water is the best perhaps. Um, distilled water, unfortunately the one that they uh, sell. Um, is not for uh, human consumption, so I don't recommend to use that. Um, but good spring or table water will do. And then um, a good quality uh, raw, preferably vinegar. Um, you can use any type of vinegar as long as you're sure that this is real vinegar because uh, many of the times nowadays what they sell to us is not real vinegar. So. Perhaps the best that uh, you will find everywhere is uh, apple cider vinegar, so you can use that. And the last but not least is um, tea tree essential oil. It, it has amazing properties for um, oily and acne prone uh, skin. You probably have seen it as um, a very main ingredient in most of the... Um, lotions which are for these purposes but now we're gonna make our all natural lotion so uh the recipe takes literally just a minute to make it so you want to use one part of vinegar so i'm just gonna put in our case one spoon of vinegar and then you want to add to this two parts of water So, this will actually depend on how strong your uh, vinegar is. Uh, the stronger it is, the more you want to dilute it. And to find this out, you just want, <clears throat> when you use it the first time on your face, if it feels that it is um, too um, uh, st stingy, then you want to add a little bit more water. Vinegar is very good for our skin because it's actually, um, our skin is acidic and it's not uh, neutral as um, you will see on most uh, skin products advertised um, the, that the pH is 5.5. The skin actually uh, has a pH of uh, around 4, uh, just over 4, which is uh, slightly on the acidic side. So, the skin actually loves acidity. So, you are doing very, very good. 
actually vinegar is good even for dry skin but you want to dilute it uh, even more um, because of the um, the acids there of course and then to add the benefits of the tea tree oil to this uh, quantity that I just made I'm just gonna add literally just uh, two drops of tea tree oil two to three drops you don't really need a lot of it it's super strong it's very potent and it will make your skin lotion super super strong so you want to preserve this uh, ideally in a glass container and the next thing uh, that is very important is when you apply it apply it always on very clean skin and um, avoid the area around the eyes because eyes don't like um, acidity to go inside and if this goes inside your eyes um, it will cause uh, irritation it's not going to be a very strong irritation but still we want to avoid anything like this well that is um, all from me today and i hope to see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this we are sharing a lot of knowledge here that we have gathered throughout the years and i really hope that um, all this is useful for you thank you and we'll see you next time